Hey guys, as a kid, today can be started my Series 8 Saturdays. And yes, I know it's Friday and almost next Saturday, so I'll be doing my next episode tomorrow. But anyway, I've been a bit tight, so I haven't been able to upload it. But, you know, I've given you some other stuff to do. Um, you know, watch a few reviews, a few haul videos, because we've been on holiday. But, you know, I'll bring it to you now. <clears throat> Pardon. Um, so yeah, the episode I enjoyed, but it was very confusing in some points. I had prior watched *The Girl in the Fireplace*, so I don't understand the whole plot. Um, from what I've read up on and kind of found out is that you know, it's nice referencing how you know um, their sistership to the SS Madame I can't remember what the ship's called, but um, it was like clockwork droids. Um, you know, but for dinosaur, you didn't necessarily understand what was going on. First of all, I mean, we d we get flown straight into the action pretty much as we see a dinosaur raging around London, and then next thing we know, there's a blue box coming out of it and flying, falling towards the ground. And you know, we don't really see the Doctor and Clara yet, and the gang, you know, the Paternoster gang, are just checking it out. And New Doctor is still getting used to himself because you know he's he's trying to he's trying to confront himself as well as other people. You know, trying to figure out who he is. And you know, like there was a bit of a remark about you know, like the eyebrows have like you know, like an anger of their own, like a temper of their own, which I found quite interesting. You know, with the you know whatever that look was. You know, in Day of the Doctor, we got like a small glimpse of him before his actual debut, and um. Yeah, um, I what I understand is that it's a sequel in a sense that you know, um, they but um, you know because they adapted in order to survive, but instead because they crashed from the beginning of time, and they've been replacing body parts and organs in order to like revamp themselves. Um, Clara does get separate from the Doctor for a little bit, and you know, the Doctor, um, I like how she's hoping that the Doctor's still there, you know, because of the whole, you know, like, if I hold my hand out, you know, like this, you know, behind her back, like that, she's like, she'll grab my hand, shouldn't you, ready, and then, I mean, like, grabs her hand, like, ready. You know, it gives it like a sense of, you know, like he's, he is working out who he is. Um, and, you know, then towards the end of the episode, you know, like we see a new character. We see, um, I think her name is Missy. And we don't know who she is yet, but I can't wait to find out. And, you know, because he gets pushed off onto the bit onto Big Ben, he gets killed and he finally gets to go to Promised Land. And, um, you know, final part, um, I found really you know, really cool, but a bit upsetting, because, you know, it's the 11th Doctor ringing up the ringing up Clara before, um, you know, before um, he regenerates from his perspective. And, um, you know, then... She's he's asked her to like look after him because he hopes he's not gone green, you know, he hopes that she can like help him and like look after him. Because he because you know, he doesn't realise who he is yet and then you know, she realises that he's a man, he is the doctor and all that. And, you know And then it kinda makes reference to the end of the world in series one, episode two. Um, it's quite funny because of how um, Twelve Doctor um, can't afford chips. Like um, night, like Rose asked Nine to go get chips, which I found you know quite cool. I don't know if that was very intentionally or you know just in there. Well, it might have been intentional, you know, with it being included so early in the revamp of the new series. But you know, overall, I I did enjoy the episode. But I wanted to say it was the perfect start because I was quite confused and I hope stuff does clear up, you know, later on in the series. 
because you know in some parts you didn't exactly know what was going on so you were just like um, I'm not good or whatever parts going on and then you kind of get back into the plot but it's still a bit confusing and you know it's a bit hard to work around um but yeah brilliant episode definitely and um Tomorrow, hopefully after it airs, I will be reviewing episode two. I'm not going to spoil what the title is yet for for any of those who don't know. Um, hopefully this, hopefully everyone see. Hopefully all my fans have seen Deep Breath now, so I won't have revealed any spoilers by accident. But you know, there we go. There's another review to add to the bags. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to smash that like button. Share the video if you found me Fred's favorite video as well. And of course, um, tune in next week for, well, not next week, but, you know, roughly, you know, tomorrow time for Series 8, Saturday's Episode 2. Um, so, yeah, that's it for this video, and I will see you later, guys. Bye!